Skate Park Ethics 101. I choose to get up, get ready, get all my stuff together, and go to the skate park. What do I do there? Scooter. Yeah, I do that for whatever reason. I love it. A lot of people love it. It's actually the number one sport in Australia, which is surprising. This video is going to be about kind of my routine, how I set up operate and what to do and what not to do at skate park. I start with lots of stretching. It's a all good. Alright, let's ride. It hasn't even been five minutes, and I've already gotten kicked out. Today's a normal day. All right, let's go to a different spot. Somewhere, preferably where there isn't security. What a skate park is not for. A skate park is not for kids that aren't here to learn. A skate park is not for playgrounds. A skate park is not a place to take your kids. A skate park is not a place to do activities that aren't related. The most annoying thing is a group of kids who come here and ride Razor scooters. That's so annoying. Please don't do that. Activities that are allowed at a skate park. Skateboarding, scootering, biking, rollerblading. That is it. Please, I'm begging you. So why I got into scootering, why my home is this place. I've been riding scooters for eight years. I love it. I love every moment of it. I love every part about it. I've made countless friends. I find it the most unique action sport. It's very, very hated upon. We're not really liked that much at all. I'm probably going to get flamed for actually making this video. A couple of people over there are looking at me. That's fine, I'm used to it. Pretty much my favorite part about it is doing my own thing. I mean, how many people every day do you see skate by you on a skateboard? Probably at least a handful. When was the last time you saw someone ride on a scooter? Just for you guys, I'm going to try my best to land pretty much my most solid tricks. Alright, let's get it. First time. It's a
sick.